Hey everybody, uh, accomplished the impossible here today, and uh, behind me is a new uh, communication room that I will be doing a video of later, so I just wanted to give a little bit of sneak peek of what it looks like on the webcam here. To my left is the communication rack. Uh, it's all RF based, there's no server equipment or computer equipment in here. Um, I'm up on a hillside in California right now, this is kind of my office uh, away from home. So. Uh, but tonight I wanted to do a video on a central office. I got to do a video walkthrough with permission um, when I was doing uh, work a, a, a couple of years ago out in Northern California. So it's a quick walkthrough of just the basics of a central office, all the equipment in the racks, not a huge description of what the equipment does, but there's some old equipment in there that's pretty neat. Um, and there's still some old uh, channel banks in there as well. Uh, along with the 5 ESS and there's also uh, the battery room and all the AC switch gear is all in the same location It's not a very big CO, uh, but it is still pretty neat. So I hope you all enjoy quick tour of a uh, central office So I guess you could say each each block on this is a neighborhood So each one of these is a neighborhood somewhere all of our five ESS systems. Some of them are empty, some of them are full. Front side. Many, many five ESS cabinets. Uh, they are slowly being phased out, but nevertheless, really cool. This is all fiber optic routing. This is the Siennas. Patch panels, fiber trunks, switching. Oh, that's not good. That shows problems. Every red light's a down node. Pretty remarkable stuff. Some more fiber optic routing. This is where all the patch panels run to. Different uh, backhaul services being established here. All the fibers are neatly run where they need to be run. Alcatel Lucent equipment again. That's where all the fiber came in. Going over here to the older equipment now, which is still in service. This uh, CO does still support pots. Um, some of this is active, some of this is not. This is dead. This is all dead here. I'll get some video of it because it's pretty interesting. Over here we do have active racks, which is very rare. We don't see these too much anymore. 
But since the CO is so old, this is, um, these are all still in service. Pretty big uh, place. Not the biggest I've been to, but it's pretty large. And then we have some microwave systems here. Still in service, still operable. This is linking CO to CO. Pretty neat. It's an old terminal. I guess it's still sleeping. Pressure for the lines. MUX junctions the back side of uh, some more equipment on the last aisle here neat little carrier signal indicator currently offline obsolete overall of the racks pretty cool Here's the batteries. Pretty big batteries here, MCIs. Fluid levels. Power distributions. Old school fuses. More battery systems. Hydrometers are also installed in the batteries, which is kind of neat. Quite a few, quite a few. It's the back side of the distributions. <coughs> it's all copper. Backside of uh, Lorraine rectifiers. These are retired. Here is a AlphaTech power plant. 240 in, 48 volts out. This is doing a lot of uh, distribution power. This is actually what's charging the batteries and keeping the batteries maintained and running um, uh, side by side with them. And then this is all the generator transfer switches, ATS cabinets. All everything orange is ATS. Everything gray is static grid. And then we have a uh, meter here for utility. And that's pretty much it.